Hello, welcome to lesson 26, Explicit Interface Implementation in C-Sharp, brought to you by Ankh Pro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn what is Explicit Interface Implementation. Right now, we will jump into Visual Studio and explore it. In the previous session, we learned how to declare an interface. Interface can be declared using the interface keyword and I have to name the interface, I will name it as i1. My interface name is i1 and you have to keep in mind the previous session as we learned interface can have members and whatever the interface members it's there in the interface cannot have access modifiers and they are public by default and they do not have implementation but they have only the declaration right now we'll have a method here void and the method name is interface method I'll limit as interface method and you can observe as I said interface members does not have access modifiers and they are public by default and you can observe here there is no implementation done for this method it's having only the declaration and I've declared the method as interface method and now what I have to do whoever is inheriting this interface one has to provide implementation for this method for example I'm implementing that interface to I1 that is uh, to the class program. Now I have to provide implementation for this method in this class program. How do I provide it? It's very simple. Public void interface interface method and I have to print. I'm going to print a statement telling that this is interface method this is interface method and now if I want to invoke this method how do I do it I'll just create the instance of the class program program p equals new program and now when I use p dot I'll get that method I'm invoking that interface method. This is what we learned in the previous session. Now, what I'll do, I'll just run this program to check whether the interface is working or not. The project has built and my program is being, my exe file is being scanned by us. Let's wait for that. And you can observe this is interface method. In the previous session, we learned this thing that is how to create an interface, and after creating an interface, whichever the class implementing that interface should provide the implementation for the inter in for the members present in the interface that's what we did here we implemented that method and provided an implementation and later using that using the object of the class we just invoked that method and we just saw the output as now as we got it on the console screen this is how this is what we learned in the previous session right now what i'll do i'll create another method interface and I'll name it as i2 and that method is also having the same method as the interface i1 is having you can observe the interface i2 is having the same method declaration as the interface i1 is having now when I I'll implement I will inherit that i2 to class program also at this point of time when I do this you can observe since both are having the same method I have provided the implementation for that method in the class program and when I run this program you can observe control F5 this is printing this is it's printing only one time that is this is the interface method but right now I'm having two interfaces and two methods but the method name is same for them at this point of time how can I call the method it's at this point of time what can I do if I want to do interface method also to execute at that time what I have to do I, can, I have to use type casting operator how do I do that I'll just call this object and I'll typecast it to sorry I'll typecast it to particular interface that is i1 and when I do that I can access the methods for the particular interface and similarly I'll just copy this and I paste and I'll do it for 
type and I'll type cast it to i2 that is interface 2 now when I run this program it's printing this is interface method but still it's still in ambiguity telling that it's it's not coming to know it it's not the compiler is not exactly knowing from which interface method the met that method is going to execute the it's in dilemma it's in confused state because all because both the interfaces are having the same name that is interface method and interface method and the dotted will understand that if a class is inter inheriting the interface it has to provide the implementation as it has done that but it's not coming to it's not exactly knowing that both the methods are having the same name at this point of time we have to use explicit interface implementation when two interfaces are having the same method and if you want to explicitly call that two methods for that class then you have to use explicit interface implementation how do I do it when you're using explicit interface implementation you have to keep two points in mind one is it should not have an access modifier where you are implementing that class it should not have access modifier and it should explicitly call from the particular interface for example I1 it should explicitly call from the particular interface then it will come to know that the particular method is coming from the particular interface similarly what I have to do I have to copy this and I have to explicitly call for the interface i2 here instead of i1 I'll name it as i2 this is what the explicit interface implementation now what I've done is using explicitly particular interface I'm calling the particular interface method so here I'll just change it to interface method 1 and this is interface method 2 now what I'll do now when I run this program it should tell me explicitly that this is interface method 1 and this is interface method 2 this is what explicit implementation but okay this is what explicit implicit, explicit impl imp interface implementation right now we'll jump back into presentation here you can observe if a class this is an interview question if a class inherits from two interfaces and both the interfaces have the same method name as we saw in the example in this scenario how class can implement the method for both the interfaces at this point of time we will use explicit interface implementation technique and you can observe the second sentence when a class explicitly implements an interface member the interface member can no longer be accessed through the class reference variable but only through the interface reference variable to understand this we'll jump into visual studio what that line tells us if you are explicitly implementing an interface at that time you can't use a class object to access that method you can observe here when i use p dot when i create an instance of the class program and i'm using p dot i can i am not able to access that interface method it means that when you're using explicit interface implementation you can't invoke that interface method using the object of the class at that time you have to use this type casting type casting that object to a particular interface otherwise instead of doing that what else you can do is you can use interface i'll to understand it very clearly we'll jump back into presentation you can observe here when a class explicitly implements an interface member, the interface member can no longer be accessed to the class reference variable as we saw, but it can be expressed, uh, it can be accessed through the interface reference variable. Now we'll see how to use the interface reference variable. I'll come back here. Interface reference variable means we are calling the interface itself and i1 is equal to new i1. this is what the in explicit interface implementation now when I do this I cannot create an instance of the abstract class okay and at the time what I have to do is okay I have to use program okay now what I will do is I1 see you can access the interface method in this manner this is how you will create an instance of an interface method interface itself then you can access the particular method similarly I do it for since it's a method I have to give brackets here okay it works and similarly I have to call it for i2 also I'll just rename it and I'll rename the object variable also and I'll call it as i2 now 
when I run this, you can observe it's explicitly coming. The statements are printing explicitly from the particular interface method. This is interface method one, and this is interface method two. This is how you can access. You can invoke the interface methods explicitly using the interface reference variable itself. Okay, this is what about explicit interface implementation. And coming back. Access modifiers are not allowed on explicitly implemented interface members. This is what we did here. We can't, we can't uh, give your access public modifiers. That is, access modifiers you can't use in this explicit, explicit explicit interface implementation. You can't use the access modifiers. That's what this line explains. Access modifiers are not allowed on explicitly implemented interface members. Okay, default and explicit implementation. What is this? If you want to make one of the instance method the default. Then implement that method normally, and the other instance method explicitly. This makes the default method to be accessible through the class instance. It means that here I'm having two explicit implementation interfaces, but I want one of the method to be a default. At that time, what we have to do is instead of explicitly calling this, if you want to make this method default, then you just use the access modifier here, and it will become default. While I'll just delete this and. In order to invoke this method, you have to just create an object of the class. You have to create an object of the class p is equal to new program. Okay. P dot. See, now this interface method is available. Okay. This is what. The this is what the default interface implementation. If you are using a default interface implementation, you can invoke that method using the instance of this class program. And this is explicit interface implementation. We are explicitly implementing that interface. That's what this piece of line explains you. Default and explicit implementation. Okay. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Please subscribe to Ankh Pro Training.